doing a little bit of an experiment today for reasons which will become very clear if you watch the rest of this video. So I've got a little bit of diesel right here, a paper plate, and some painter's tape. I just want to make a little disclaimer. I don't think anybody is here following me for like instructions on how to do things correctly, but just in case anybody is, don't do what we did in this video. It's definitely not very responsible, probably not super safe. As you will see, it didn't turn out that well, so it is what it is, it happened, wasn't smart, don't do it. Okay. I'm gonna leave this for a while and see what happens. Now that that's done, I can get back to finishing my project. I'm ready to get some heat in here. So now that I have my bed finished, I'm ready to try installing this heater. Bought this off Amazon. I'll put a link if you want it. I can't recommend it, obviously, because I've never tried it, but it's from China, and this manual is absolutely useless. It did me no good at all, but I've watched like six YouTube videos of other people doing this, so hopefully I can figure it out. I've kind of planned it out already. We'll see how much of my plan I have to change before I finish. Hopefully I can get like a lot done today. Maybe even the whole thing. I shouldn't say that. We'll see. We'll see what I can do. Okay, so let me walk you through what I have planned so far. I was crawling around under the bus taking a look at what I've got under there. And it's not super ideal. I can make it work. Hey you guys, I've been ordering so much stuff. I've got just my room is just full of boxes. So I need to get this installed even if just to clear one of those boxes out of my space. This is the, the diesel fuel tank for the heater, and I want it over there, so I'm planning to mount this under the bus somewhere over there. The heater itself, you gotta chop a big hole in the floor where this goes, and on this side, there's like some stuff under there. Don't know what it is, but it's in the way of where I want to put this. So I'm gonna put this on this side. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's get going. So what I've got here, the heater, fuel hose, a bunch of connecty pipes, thermostat thingy, fuel pump I think, whatever this thing is, and this thingy. This is where this goes, like that. And then this is the part that goes out through the floor. Okay, so I just did a little more crawling around under the bus. I think I might actually be able to make it work over here. I'm really nervous about like punching that first hole in the floor in case I get it in the wrong spot, but I think I can do it. Just trying to kind of see approximately if I put it here, if it's gonna be too tight. Seems okay. really cutting it so close. Okay. I think, I think it's gonna be fine right here. I hope it's gonna be fine right here. I think the first thing I'm gonna do, if you can see, is just drill a hole right here just to make sure so I can look underneath and make sure it's about where I thought it was gonna be okay let's see where that landed took me a second to find it there I think that should be good I hope I'm wrapping myself today I really like the color of the shirt it looks like the it's like the color of dirty laundry water, but I'm into it. I think I only am ever gonna be wearing them to work because I feel very weird walking around town with my own name on my clothing. So you're probably gonna be seeing a lot of these.
I am so nervous to do this. All right, it's done. That is terrifying. I really hope that was in the right spot. If you're wondering why I cut that in such an insane pattern, it's because I didn't actually drill those holes big enough so the blade wouldn't fit into the corners. Time to move on to the next step. I just had to watch two more videos and I'm sure that will not be the last. Just to refresh my memory a bit here. So I have the fuel intake there, this one's the air intake, this one's the exhaust. Mothers be good to your daughters. Oh, and I guess I bolt this in. Feels like chances are good that I do at least one thing out of order here. So I'm just gonna prepare myself for that now so I won't be disappointed when it happens. Is there like a diagram somewhere for what all these pieces go to? No, like two thirds of this book is in Russian. I think ideally I would have done this before I put my floor in because now I have all this like edge of my insulation and my subfloor and everything exposed under it's gonna be like exposed from underneath so I'm not sure how I'm gonna seal that up from the other videos I watched I heard that cutting the hole in the floor took the longest hopefully that's true because it's already been like two and a half hours okay Okay, so I'm texting my brother. He's currently, it seems like, trying to tell me that I should plumb this thing into my regular diesel tank instead of using the one that came with it, which seems scary, but either way, I have some leftover flex seal, I think. I'm gonna spray that around the hole that I cut and see if that seems good enough. He did convince me though to tap into my, my fuel tank that I use for driving. I was planning on driving down to his house in the bus this weekend anyway. Now we can kill two birds with one stone. He's gonna help me do that because I am afraid to mess with my fuel tank by myself. I have no idea what I'm doing and that seems like a thing I don't wanna mess up. Okay. The bus is warming up right now. I'm about to drive it down to my brother's house. It's like an hour away. This will be the first time I've driven it further than the two miles to the spray foam place since February. And it is now November, so kind of nervous, but also I'm a totally changed person than I was in February. So I got it, right? I think I'm also gonna get gas before so I can measure my gas mileage again. brother's house. I got here without incident except that when I tried to pull up to the curb I destroyed these trees so hopefully the new neighbors don't mind. My brother just bought this new house but they're remodeling the kitchen right now before they move in so two of my brothers are inside working on the kitchen and I've been pretty much doing nothing all day except hanging out with my sister-in-law. I just barely got this thing off the back. One of you told me at one point that that's the fuel tank under there so Hopefully that's correct, but I don't know what to do now, so I'm gonna see if I can get my brother out of his house and to come help me. 
your bus pumps fuel to it and then some of it comes back through the return line and it just keeps going in a circle. Why? Just the way the fuel system works. Seems you're gonna probably have to drill a hole somewhere. There is this, like, this thingy. What? It's like a big plug of some sort. I don't know if it's just like an access. Like get the vacuum and clean this off and then maybe see what this thing is for. You have an Allen wrench that big? Mm, no way. But if you could take that off, you could actually maybe put your uh, thing right in that. Where do you get such an Allen wrench? Napa probably has one, but it might be expensive. And it is kind of strange that it's an Allen wrench. Well, it'd be nice if you had a light of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the issue is I don't know of any way to drill a hole in a fuel tank without the stuff falling in there. Mm. Maybe I should just use that tank. That would suck. Where would you put it? This also sucks. Yeah, this sucks once though. This would suck once like a week. But this sucks way bad if we do it wrong. No. Why would we ever do it wrong? I do everything wrong. Well, I've never done anything wrong, so that <laughs> gives us pretty good odds. <laughs> what happens if sparks get in the gas tank? It explodes? Don't know. Guess we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the cutest little helper with me. Gray! Gray! Can I come help me clean? Sure. Can you grab the paper towels? Yeah. 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 Can you spray this for me? Right there. Good job. Are you going in? Look, where do you want that to go? To the bus? Great, what's up with yeah. that freaking thing that keeps tripping everybody? <laughs> Gray, are you still in my zip ties? <laughs> oh, going in. Gray's going in. Oh. <laughs> he always thinks he can do better than me. <laughs> like father, like son. He's very confident. Gray, where are we? Uh oh. <laughs> Did you get your face a little bit? this fill hose, put some type of contraption in there, I thought about underneath that. where we were drilling, have the vacuum on top, drill very slowly so all the shavings are being vacuumed up. When we break through, whatever does drop, drops into that contraption, and when we pull it out, it dumps into the tank anyways. Yeah. Or I think you could just stick a measuring cup in there. How? It's big! Not big enough for a measuring cup, you psycho. Depends on the <laughs> measuring cup. I want to have your viewers tell us how stupid they think we are. What would you have done differently? I'm an engineer. As am I. <laughs> Just not of this variety. <laughs> no one is of this variety. <laughs> What are you guys doing? I'm trying to get the closest power. Huh? I mean, we have options. They're just all bad. <laughs> Hell yeah! We made it and we even have a little light trail. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you just straighten that up, bro? Because it wasn't long enough. What? Where the hell are you going? Aren't you going all the way back there? We're going through this. Who to say nobody can your contraption? This is our contraption. <laughs> wow, this is just great. Stab you the wire. What the? What is this thing? <laughs> yeah, of course.
course it's gotta be hard. Okay. Oh gosh. What? You, you literally are 100% full of diesel fuel. Yeah, I filled it up on the way here so I could test my gas mileage. <laughs> so you're sticking that contraption in here. We're going into the top of the tank. Oh, okay. Is this a terrible idea? Well, probably. The viewers will let you know. Now my only fear is that the tape falls into the tank because the diesel fuel ruins the stickiness. Oh, Drop a comment to let us know what we're doing wrong every time we do something wrong. Yeah, calm down. We need a pilot hole. Oh, we're through, baby. We are catching shavings on the other side. Oh. Okay, we just made it all the way through. Okay, Thomas, lift it all the way up to the roof. It is. Okay, there's some shavings in there, but we might just have to live in there. So, um, okay. Yeah, just try to get it out there. You don't have any I think his uh, tape break, if it's still on there, there's still thin, thin, but works pretty good.